Hello, JNM here with a short overview for the 3D painting application Agama Materials. It is in an early stage of development, but you can download it from here. The link is in the description below. With the application, you can create materials and paint onto meshes in a non destructive workflow. And of course, export the materials you created, for instance, for your game assets. Here you can see the documentation and as I said, this will be a short overview in which I will focus on the 3D painting features. You can use layers and masks, which is similar approach to Substance Painter and this is exactly what I will show in this video. To do that, I will export a 3D model as FBX that I created with Blender. It is one mesh, but has three separate parts. Here select them with the L key and the mesh is fully UV unwrapped. So I select the object in object mode and then I go to file export FBX. Here choose to export the mesh and the selected objects only and press export FBX. Okay and then I open a gamma materials that I installed and I create a new project. For the project, you can choose between paint on mesh and create a procedural material. We choose paint on mesh. Then I give the project a name. And the first thing you have to do is to import the mesh. This is the FBX that we exported. I select FBX, so you can see you can also import OBJ and 3DS. Here we go, and here is the 3D model as preview. Then I press done and we get a 3D view on the left and a 2D view with the UV layout on the right side. You can navigate in both views, you can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, you can rotate the view with the right mouse button and you can pan the view when you hold the middle mouse button pressed. Like in Substance Painter you have a layer stack on the right side and we have a paint layer in there on that we can paint using a brush. We exported this model with one material and this is represented by a so-called texture set. We see this here. Okay, now let's paint onto the mesh. You can define the roughness, the metallic and the albedo, the base color for the brush. And I start with a black tone, then increase the brush size a bit. And then I paint here onto the UV islands. Like that and of course you can also paint directly onto the mesh. Now we paint it with full roughness, but I want to have it a bit more shiny, so I decrease the roughness here with this slider. And when I paint again, you see the difference. To enhance the shading and the lighting, you can add a different HDRI. Here's some example HDRIs that you can just drag into the view. Alright, now do the same for the knob, but I change the color to a gray tone. And then I use a green color and paint the box. Perhaps a bit more metallic and less roughness. and also this part at the top. Okay, that's nice, but what I want to do now is I want to test the layer system and the masks. For this, I drag a material into the layers. Then I right click this new layer and add a black mask. Now you can decide whether you want to paint onto the layer or onto the mask. And when I paint with white onto the mask, this part will then be visible. And with this technique that you perhaps know from Substance Painter, you can make an underlying layer visible for a certain area. 
Now do the same for the knob and for this part I use a golden material. The same technique I add a mask and then I paint onto the particular UV island. Ok guys, that's what I wanted to show, again my materials is in an early stage of development, but I think it has great potential. The guys told me that they created the app from scratch, it feels fast and reactive and I'm really looking forward to new versions. If you liked the video let me know and don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and support me by joining as a member or becoming my patron. See you soon on JNM.